The 2021 Hyundai Bayon If it is not broke, do not fix it. The world's appetite for crossovers and SUVs is still going strong and as long as people will buy these high-riding people carriers, carmakers will do everything in their power to milk the trend. Hyundai is one of those carmakers and the milking will now be done via its new Europe-headed crossover, the Bayon. This is everything you need to know about the car that is supposed to poach customers from the likes of Ford Puma and Nissan Juke. The Bayon is a B-segment SUV, crossover, which means it will slot beneath the Kona in Hyundai's European lineup. Hyundai's intention with the new Bayon is to offer the same tech and safety package available for its larger SUVs, but at an affordable price. Design even if we covered the Bayon's front logo, it would still be easily identifiable as a Hyundai. There are a lot of Kona styling cues baked into the front end, and since we're picking apart the design chapter, the rear end is reminiscent of the Ionic. Ask Hyundai, however, and they will tell you that this approach is part of the sensuous sportiness design philosophy. Depending on trim level, the Bayon can be configured with 15-inch steel wheels or 16- and 17-inch alloys. Step inside and you will be greeted by an interior that looks copy, pasted from the likes of i20 Super Mini. That is not a bad thing, mind you. The i20's cabin geography looks good and places a lot of focus on ergonomics. Sure, you will encounter harsh plastics pretty much everywhere you look but the build quality is close to impeccable and the cabin is airy, well laid out, and brimming with technology. The instrument cluster is based on a 10.25-inch configurable screen and you get another 10.25-inch screen acting as the infotainment system, that is optional, though. This is basically the same setup seen in the i20, which should entail graphics that are easy on the eye, clear and logical menus, as well as a lag-free experience most of the time. Wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are also on the menu, with optional features also including a Bose sound system, a wireless phone charging pad, and up to three USB ports. Powertrain The entry-level engine is a 1.2-liter MPI multi-point injection unit with 84 horsepower on tap, which connects to a 5-speed manual transmission. Hyundai, however, is making a lot of noise about its Kappa family of engines, namely the 1.0-liter TGDI mill available in the i20 and in the new Bayon. The power plant can be had with either 100 or 120 horsepower in conjunction with a 48-volt mild hybrid setup. Transmission options include a 6-speed intelligent manual and a 7-speed dual-clutch aggregate. The former can disengage from the engine when the gas pedal is released by the driver, allowing the vehicle to coast for less emissions and better fuel efficiency. The 100 horsepower version of the 1.0 liter TGDI mill can also be had without the 48 volt mild hybrid technology and customers can also decide to pair it with the regular 6 speed manual or the 7 speed DCT. Not that it matters a lot given who will buy the new Bayon, but Hyundai is also offering a rev matching feature inspired by its N models. The quickest Bayon will take you from 0 to 100 km per hour, 62 miles per hour in 10.4 seconds onto a top speed of 185 km per hour, 115 miles per hour. Price and availability. We expect the new Bayon to make its market debut in the summer of 2021, although Hyundai is tight-lipped on this topic as it is when it comes to pricing. If we were to offer an educated guess price-wise, the Bayon could start from around €20,000 in Germany. If you liked this video, please share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to hit the subscribe button.